Hi, Lulu. Hi. Welcome. Come on in. Thank you. Wow. Here we are in Sedona at my home. We just built this about six years ago. Actually, it was a design that was on a paper napkin. When I moved to Sedona, um, I was not in love with the house my husband was living in. The kitchen had no windows. It was very challenging because I'm a cook. I was a cook in the Zen monastery and I've been cooking for years and I was in this kitchen. I felt like I was in a jail. I want you to come see my kitchen now and check out the view. Mm. This is my dining room. Wow. Kind of a nice view there. These are called Twin Buttes. It's um, near the Broken Arrow area of Sedona. Well, that's a beautiful painting. Thank you. That's my husband's painting. Uh -huh. It's supposed to be of me on the beach in Tulum, Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I look like that, and I'm certainly not naked. <laughs> this is my kitchen, and this is the view we have now, and this is my window now. Wow. Hold on one second. Honey, come in and say hi. They want to see who did the, pa the painting, I'm sure. Mmm, here's the artist. Uh, That's my husband, Marty. Oh, He's beautiful. Juicy. And he helped he build this yeah. house, actually. You were the uh, contractor on this house. Yeah. So we, drew, he, we started it with a, with a uh, napkin, draw, drawing it out. Yeah. I want to show you, I went to a home show and I found these big um, windows. I said, well, let's make sure we have these in the house. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the big set of windows I fell in love with. And I want you to see what happens with these. Mm. So when you walked in that front door, uh, and here are my dogs, they're gonna come in. They're juicy also. Can mm. you open this all the way? Yeah. Wow. This is a pool I designed. It's actually, we don't have the... Uh, <gasps> wow. We can walk back this way and you can see the It whole. opens all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hello, and who are those two? This is Rudolph Valentino, and this is Ginger. Now, Rudy, is, they're both rescues. This is his fifth home. She's actually half wolf. It's her and her, um, we adopted them both. I had to wait a year and a half to get a juicy dog because my husband thought we could do well without a dog. But they're very happy. <laughs> they look happy. <laughs> they love each other. And they have this room also is where I do a lot of meditation Yeah, retreats. you have a crystal ball here. We do. We do. You want me to play it? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I fell in love with one of these crystal balls. I have a friend who, um, he has about 10 of them. And he's actually on the last track of my meditation CD. He plays the crystal balls. Mm. So... chakra bowl mm -hmm. and it resonates with the vibration of the heart this book I read it when I was probably about 12 called be here now mm -hmm. by Ram Das this is his latest book called be love now and I am madly madly in love with this book I took it with me to Mexico I've been reading it one of his meditations in here um, that he practices is to sit in silence and say this, I am love, I am love, and just to feel it from the inside. And this is, I love that, and, and I, that's really my journey right now is um, opening up the heart center. It's a very vulnerable place to be, but it's uh, very powerful and expansive, and so I'm taking my cues from him. He had a stroke, and he was, this book was actually written <clears throat> when he was in India when he was younger and um, they gathered all these old papers together and started putting it into this, so it's, it's really yummy, mm -hmm. delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go this way. There's a see. beautiful Buddha back there, too. Oh, yes. Ooh. This is, um, we just love it. Marty painted, me, painted this picture for me, um, and it, I don't know if you've been able to see some of the aspects of it. Did yeah. You, did you see this before? Yeah. Look at some of, look at this. This is what, oh my, it's a 3D. So oh. this is nailed in there, see here, oh, wow. and he paints it with acrylic paint. It's actually pink foam, and he glues and painted it, and this is very 60s, and, you know, it goes along with my Be Here Now book, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, 
But this Buddha just really seems to like it here, and she and he greets me. And you know, at first Buddhas are beautiful. Of course, there are mirrors everywhere, and it's a beautiful thing. But what what people have icons in their house for is to remind them of their own true nature, of the nature of who they really are, and of their own awareness. So sometimes, of course, they're gorgeous, but these icons are really designed to help us remember who we are and remember why we're here. And uh, one of the, the famous Buddhist sayings is, awaken, awaken, do not squander your time, do not squander your life without knowing your true nature. So it's actually something that Buddhist considers the most important thing in life. This is our bedroom. It's kind of juicy. Mm. Come on in. Have another naked lady on the wall. Wow. Yeah, we have a nice view. And uh, my dogs sleep down here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, very relaxing. Yeah, that's Marty's, one of his first paintings over there. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, we love it. And the sun comes up right here. So the sun comes up and wakes us up, and here's another bowl. Wow. This one's very similar. Let's go this way and... Hello, you guys. They just love it. They didn't get their walk today, so... Uh -huh. We'll go afterwards. We go right out the back. You know what? I'm going to show you the backyard just for a moment so you can see my favorite part of this house. As, you know, real estate agents always say, location, location, location. That's a great <laughs> little in indoor, too. It is. This is usually full of flowers in this, and the fountains are going in the summer. And this was the other part that we had on the napkin. This was on the napkin. what he, what Always he starts with a napkin. He drew this, and I saw those windows, and that's how we built this house. And plus, I knew I needed this, the center, the heart of this house, the kitchen, to be in a very prominent place. So we have a lot of um, nourishing experiences here in this house, for sure. We like to always have locally grown, organic, food here. We have farmers that live in the valley here mm -hmm. and deliver the food here. So we often have our, we have peach trees out there. We have our apple trees and our pear trees. So we have a lot of homemade, nourishing, locally grown foods here. Mm. Come this way and we'll show you. We're really lucky because if you can see over here, that's all hiking trails and jeep trails. Wow. And you can, you can walk for miles that way. Oh. And the same for this. This is actually the largest stand of Arizona cypress trees. And there's t there are many, many, many manzanita bushes. Have you ever seen a manzanita bush? Uh-huh. Um, no. No? I'll show you. They're right here. Actually. There's one there. Let's go to this one so you can see it just for a moment. This is um if you look at a manzanita bush, look at that look at that bark. Oh yes. It's like a skin. Yeah. And it's a protected species here in Arizona. But it's just if you ever see one, just come and touch it and it's just yummy. <laughs> Delicious and juicy, isn't it? Wow. It's very uh, smooth and beautiful. These are our pear trees, peach trees, apples trees back here. And actually, this house was built, it's actually green. Besides being a color green, it's very low, uh, uh, low energy usage. And we have a septic system that comes out and it waters all these trees, a deep watering. So we also, um, we have a radiant floor heating, which keeps the place really cool and hot and um, we have the placement of this house has made it so that we don't uh, we utilize the sun's energy in the winter but we have it shaded perfectly in the summer because it gets hot pretty hot here but let's go out here this is where I usually take our babies come on come on Jeej and this is the wilderness this goes up to 500 500,000 acres 
out here and we just hike right out into those rocks out there. Sometimes we go over here, that's Snoopy Rock. You wouldn't recognize it from this angle. We can climb in and around and go anywhere we want out here. Oh, such an open, beautiful space. It is. We have bear and javelina, these wild sort of pigs. We have um, wolves, coyotes, deer, foxes, ringtail cats. We have a lot of beautiful animals that live here. Hawks have been hanging out the last couple of days. So thanks for coming over. Let's go for a hike. Yeah, let's go for a hike. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.